What's up, everyone? It's your Captain Cheppy here. I just wanted to get into some description before we get into the full gameplay of Arcade Spirit. What if the 1983 video game market crash never happened? Set in 2000XX, Arcade Spirits is a visual novel romantic comedy with a different history where arcades still reign supreme as the ultimate place to play. After a period of turbulent employment, your character starts an exciting new job at the Funplex, a popular local arcade with a team of staff that are eccentric as the customers. From fierce programmers and dedicated high score chasers to creative cosplayers and tinkering programmers, the neon lights and buzzing atmosphere of the Funplex is welcome home to many. But where will this newfound employment opportunity take you? Who will you meet along the way? And will you finally find the romance you've been seeking? So that's right, Arcade Spirits is a visual novel, but not just any visual novel, actually. Arcade Spirits also has dating simulator elements with seven different characters who can be romanced or just befriended. Romance is completely optional in this game. You don't actually have to do it at all if you don't want to. Uh, nearly all dating simulators require you to undertake some kind of mandatory romance encounter, but uh, Arcade Spirits uh, is actually unique in the genre that you don't actually have to at all. It's one of the parts of the game if you want to be in the romance, if you want to get all romanced and everything like that, then you're more than welcome to, but this game isn't all revolved around that which I find that is pretty cool, actually. Thank you, guys, and I hope you guys are going to enjoy this video. I really want to say thank you to Arcade Spirits for giving me an early access code and being able to stream this and actually be able to make videos on this game. It's a really great pleasure to have the opportunity to play this game and especially to show you guys what it's like to play this game just so then you can see for yourself. But I will say make sure you choose your own choices and don't just follow mine just so that you could get a different ending. Because like I said, depending on the choices you make, it's a different ending for everyone. So make sure you go ahead and do that. And again, I really want to thank Arcade Spirits for giving me the opportunity to play this game uh, before it was fully released on for consoles. It was an amazing opportunity, and thank you so much. But guys, let's just get into the video. So I guess I'll see you guys in the video. Her eyes study me as I approach, grinning ear to ear. Yeah, can't say I understand the why, but I at least know the who. The matching fashion style was a pretty big I clue. Guess formal introductions in order. Yeah, okay. The name's Sue. Natural born leader. Hacker extraordinaire. And leader of the Ghost Monsters. The hottest gang on these streets. Pleased to meet ya. She painfully curtsies, her wicked smile never creasing. Yeah, I guess my friends were a little wild and crazy, leaving a bit heavy on the cranks. And okay, you booted some of us out. Not all, just some. That's cool, I mean, it's your house and your rules. You're the sheriff here and lay down the law. I respect that. Let me make it up to you, okay? She steps back and taps a button on her smartwatch. And from the crowd of gamers, her whole game assembles. Even the ones I told to get lost. Gang, this is... What's your name again? Miss Sheppy. Gang, this is Captain. Captain, this is Inky, Blinky, Pinky, and Clyde. Lit! Hell yeah, dude. I like that. I like that a lot. That's really funny. Oh, and she's Sue! Gotcha, gotcha. Now then. She turns to face her ghost monsters. We're all very, very naughty, and I'd say she's owed an apology. A big fat I'm sorry from each of you, don't you agree? Each of them mumbles a semi-coherent, semi-sincere apology. Yeah, whatever, sorry. Real sorry. Gosh, I'm so sorry, Miss Sheffy. I'm really sorry. When they finish, Sue faces me yeah. once again. Everybody's sorry, which means everybody's forgiven. Because, and this is me being real with you, I like this arcade. I really do. It beats the crap out of Deco's Palace, that's for sure. I can easily see this being our new home, you know? I admire what you've done with the place. It's totally awesome, and I'm really looking forward to coming back. Again and again. I definitely don't want to end our first day here on a sour note. No, no. I'm so glad we can communicate like adults. Apologize for being naughty and move on. Now, okay, we may 
still ruffle a few feathers while we're here. So that's cool, right? <coughs> you understand that it's all fun and games? Nothing personal. So what do you say, friend? All forgiven? Pause, taking in everything Sue's rambled on about. Let me get this straight. You scare our customers, mess with our television sets, smash up and short circuit our games, clog our toilets, redirect our mail orders, come back here after I explicitly told you to get lost, try to hijack Queen Bee's streaming account, and when you want me to smile and let you come back tomorrow. Warwick barely faces it, that grin's still lingering. Yep, yep, that sounds about right. I love this arcade, and I think we could be great friends. What do you say, partner? Waiting for my response, she holds out a fist bump. It's gonna be two or three, or two or four, so, uh, three and four, God damn it. It's gonna be three or four. As much as I would love to do the funny one, but the fucking no, it's three. It's three. Sorry. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Sora. I was like, this one will be good because it's the heart that helps. Look, I'm sure you're all good kids at heart, but if I let you hang around here and you just come and you just cause more problems, it's no good for any of us. If you serious and sincerely love FFG too far, you'll understand. I can't let you ruffle feathers, as you put it. I need to make sure everyone is having a good time. Well, yeah, I mean, I get that, right? So, I might be willing to offer you another chance if you promise me you'll follow the rules from now on. That's the best I can do. Okay. I'm helping. Hmm, well, I'd like to work with you here, really, but promise is kind of a steep ask. It's pretty long. I'm a pretty empathetic sort of gal. I can tell when someone's being legit with me. And she's clearly genuine about wanting to come back, but seems conflicted? How hard is it to not hack machines and run wild? Why would that be a problem? Okay, see, normally I'd give you my word. Word is a bond, but well, no ifs, ands, or buts. I need your word if I'm going to rebuild trust with you. We don't need to have to get, we don't need to have, uh, we don't need to have to get the police involved here. We can keep this between us, right? Sue raises an eyebrow at Whoa. that. Put the brakes on. Bad idea, friend. Really bad idea. You don't want to even think about getting the cops involved in this. No, no. Because, and this is me being honest with you, because we're on such good terms, it won't do you any good. You'll be out and back on the streets within a day. I, we've got friends in high places. We don't sell drugs or weapons. We sell information, and information, as a currency, is far more valuable than whatever you might trade in. So if we're doing this, we don't involve the police. Any problems, you come to me direct. That's my rule. Break that rule, and, well, you don't want to see what I can do at the push of a single button. So now you're threatening me? telling you how it is. What you do now is entirely up. Before she could continue her tirade, we're rather rudely interrupted. Oi, right, Sue! The hell you think you're doing here? She clearly works with Deco. Yeah, I was like, yeah, she absolutely. The thick tension has surrounded us melt away. We directed to a new challenger. All eyes glare towards them. Oh, great. Okay, Captain, hold that thought. I got business to attend to. Damn right you do. Those monsters don't operate south of 23rd Street. You damn well know this is lovely chainsaw territory. <laughs> get lost or get tossed. If I wasn't confused before, I sure as heck am now. All I do is watch the unfurl before me. With a clap, she summons her buddies to her side. I'm sorry, south of that. South of what? I don't recall signing any non-complete agreements with you ghost darlings. Monsters, oh, ghost monsters. This lot. Oh, ghost monsters? This locker room gossip queen is disrespecting your fearless leader. What do we say to that? Nobody gets a sue on my watch. Nobody. Yeah, and I ain't scared to hit a chick. I'm an equal opportunity socially, not a just an individual. Think you got your answer, ladies? Now then. 
Let's rumble! Well, to their credit, they didn't throw the first punch, but we're talking hand and shoot first. Hand and shoot first levels of moral high ground here. Immediately, the ghost monsters and lovely chainsaws are each at each other's throws, grappling, punching, and shoving each other. The baseball bat gets swung and clangs off the side of racing games. <gasps> no! Into chaos, complete and utter chaos. It needs to stop now. Iris! Already calling the cops, Captain. As for me, I was already on thin ice emotionally. Everything will be fine, I told myself. Everything will be fine. Well, that just went out the window. I guess I can stand here, paralyze and freak out, or I could do something to try to save it. I choose the latter. Priority one, get the customers the hell out of here. Gavin and Ashley are already on that. <laughs> I join in trying to funnel the panic crowds of the kids out of the, away from the carters. This way, this way, hurry! In an orderly fashion, please. Out, everybody out! With our focus on the loading loading the place with arcade games and nothing more, it doesn't ha leave a lot of room to work with. Nor is it much of an octagon for a remarkably sloppy mixed martial arts brawl breaking out. We're going to have a lot of game damage when all when all is said and done. Damn it! I'm not letting that bitch get away with this. Until now, it's a world of sloppiest barroom dogs. Who is playing around, generally wrecking the scene rather than each other. But now, now she's pulled out a gun. Not some arcade-like gun, but a real life shooting and killing gun. Oh, you're out of your mind. No, what is this? This isn't happening. This can't be happening. But this is 100% happening. What the fuck is going on? The leader of the lovely chainsaw game raises her weapon and takes an aim at Sue, trying to end this. But a target is conveniently tucked between behind Miss the Fame and Naomi. If I don't do something, someone's gonna get seriously hurt. My mind races. Everything is not fine. I've accepted that. And now I have one chance to get something right. One chance to do something good in the midst of all this chaos. Time slows for me like I'm trapped in a dream state. Pure instinct takes over and I start running towards them. You're lying! Oh, I mean, I gotta protect Naomi, but like, why did why wouldn't I just like stand like just fucking jump across all of them? Holy shit! Two flower, what the fuck, dude? I'm saving Naomi. I don't give a shit. I, I'd rather let this arcade tank. I'd rather let this arcade tank. I'd rather let this fucking hooligan come in every day and destroy every single game. I'd rather let them do that shit than to lose the love of my life. You're out of your fucking mind. Nice. Get down. Holy shit, what did you do? I, I was aiming for Sue. Pigs, pigs, run for it. Stay cool and wipe the footage first, do it. Stay with us, Captain, stay with us. Help is on the way. I just wanted to make a dream for everyone to enjoy. That's all. Is that so wrong? That's what you would have done. What you did do for all of us. But. No good deed goes unpunished, huh? A shitty family curse. You have come so far. You're what Father Hanlon needs. Help him now. It would be best for Father. I still have more to be done. Slowly, very slowly, I open my eyes. A soft beeping of medical monitoring greets me. As well as an angel in white. Whoa, an angel in a white lab coat. Well, if there's no heavenly being, they do appear to be my doctor, armed with nothing more than a clipboard. It's still a little hazy as they briefly explain the situation. Thanks to my wild theatrics, I started the shooter enough that her bullet missed its an intended target. And instead, it went into my leg. Which hurts like a bitch, but apparently results in a surprisingly clean shot that I recovered from in a few weeks easily. Two days in the hospital, a week or two on crutches, some limping, then I'll be back to 100%. And more importantly, nobody died. <laughs> I can live with this momentary momentary pain if someone else gets to live, period. So, could have been better, could have been worse. 
The doctor haven't given me the report. It leaves to treat their other patients. But before they do, they inform me I have a visitor. I guess there's a plus side. I just wonder who it is. Of course it's fucking her. Like, come on. When I look over to see who it is, I see Naomi standing there, tears streaming down her face. She rushes over to my side, embracing me in a hug. Naomi, I'll be fine. It's like the Hollywood gunshot. I'll walk it off. But don't cry. Okay, a larger than usual Hollywood gunshot, but the doctor said it'll be fine in a month or so. No big deal. Trying to downplay the seriousness of it all does nothing to pla uh, to placate Naomi's frustration. What? It is a big deal. so scared when I saw you bleeding on the floor. I mean, just hours before that, I was mad at you over a like cake when Dad drove off with it. I could feel it in the room, and then when you lost your leg, it just didn't quite make it. Of course, now she's replaced her earlier anger with self resentment. Not exactly an improvement. Having newfound perspective is great, but it also means you shouldn't be so mad at yourself. Okay, Naomi, speak up for what you believed in, and I love you for that. None of us came off looking great here, you or I did, but we can learn and move on. Obviously. I offer a gentle smile and take her hand. I admire you, Naomi. You stand up for what you believed in this morning. Right or wrong doesn't matter. Angry words don't matter. What matters is your spirit. I'm never going to hate you for speaking your mind. And we can't always agree on everything. Arguments happen, and they won't tear us apart. Not ever. I promise you that. Even when I'm yelling at you about a silly penguin? Well, I can't say I'd enjoy being yelled at about a silly penguin, but I don't think it's going to make an a make me abandon ship either. Now he sighs and wipes away some tears. It could be very opinionated, let's say. But that doesn't mean I need to yell. It doesn't mean I need to be angry. I can stand up for myself without throwing a fit. I guess people in love argue from time to time. It's normal. But next time, I'll try to do it without the fireworks. And I'll promise the same thing in return. As long as we remember that we love each other, no matter what, we can talk through any problem. Baby, don't cry. Baby, don't cry. Wipe those tears away, baby. Wipe those tears away and bend over for me so I can get that good slap in. <laughs> Jesus Christ, okay. It's gonna take a lot more than a little shouting about a penguin to make me break up with you, Captain. I think you're stuck with me for a long, long time. And I trust you to protect my dream, even when you have to protect me from myself. I ain't having to pull you back from that dream, though. You're not. You're helping me be realistic about things. Miss Francine was a dreamer, but she also tried to be realistic. She aspired to be more like her. I guess I just freaked out a little when Gavin stepped in and stepped on my idea. Obviously, he doesn't care about my dream the way you do. And we're back to Gavin versus Naomi rivalry. When I was only a floor attendant, it wasn't really my responsibility to sort that one out. But as the new boss, I think it's time to try to put this put this one to bed. I think I'm gonna go funny on this one. Oh, definitely. I mean, just the other day, I saw him howl at the moon, transforming a great, terrible beast to meet a few villagers. Also, I think I saw him draw a pentagram in the break room and consort with the adversary, the great beast of the pit, the father of lies. Na Naomi, look, he's just a dude, a human like you and me. And I think today's proof that humans can make mistakes even when their intentions are pure, right? Well, yeah, I mean, I understand, but no buts. Except for your butt on my face. <laughs> Gavin's, uh, Gavin isn't trying to destroy the arcade. He wants to save it. You can see you can see now why he was worried about the statue, yeah? You felt bad about you felt bad when you thought you'd lost me after a nasty argument. Gavin feels bad all the time when you make decisions he knows will hurt us, all while trying to help us. Can you try to get along better with him, please? Try to understand him, instead of falling back on assuming he's a villain. Okay, for you I could try. Thank God. <laughs> I'd like to avoid something like this happening again. I want us to all get along honest, all of us. And speak of the devil, the devil of FFG Two Flower arrives. Oh. <laughs> take my heart, baby, take it. Am I interrupting? I wanted to be certain Captain as well. She'll be fine. We'll be fine, all of us. 
The captain could probably use some rest at this point. Gavin, how about we go raid the snack machines and talk? Um, talk? What about? You know, stuff and things. I feel like we never actually sit down and talk, you and I. Okay. Naomi's offered a quick but very careful hug before leaving a confused Gavin at the door. Hopefully they'll find some common ground. It'll be nice for something positive to come out of this mess that was our opening day. Seeing the person I care for the most was certainly a boon to my spirit. Oh, if they could only do something about the food here. With my heart calm, my, bo my body finally tells me, uh, tells me it's exhausted. I snuggle into the covers as a yawn escapes me. Just as I'm about to roll over and drift off to sleep, another visitor drops in. It's likely well past visiting hours, but with no small amount of both dread and relief, I'm glad to see her. Miss Sheffy, a word, if you will. I try to straighten myself up from the pillow's backrest, trying to put on my professional front, even if I'm in excruciating pain. Okay, um, I should start by explaining that what happened today isn't exactly indicative of... I sure hope it was. I should hope it was. It's hard to disguise the disbelief on my face. What? It seems I've misjudged your character. Based on an initial unpleasant interaction, but what I saw today, you clearly... Uh, saw today, clearly you're no fool, nor a coward. I let my need to protect my family override my better judgment how absurd to paint everything you've built on ffg2 flower with that brush all over such a small matter i saw you selfishly throw yourself in front of that bullet you didn't have to do that you chose to do that it's indicative of someone who isn't simply in this for the money as many of this industry are you protected your friends and co-workers that's an admirable act of heroism and one i'll not soon forget i suppose i've become a bit jaded from all those eager to cash in on the arcade scene. All the large-scale arcades I have to review tend to be very impersonal and code. Quote, code, a kid. So, you're, we're impressed with our arcade? Well, let's not get that far. I could say I was thrilled with the amount of, I can't say I was thrilled with the amount of mayhem and disaster going on before a gang war broke out. But I will say I've only ever, I've only ever seen that amount of mayhem and disaster once before. It's highly unusual, to say the least. The last time I reviewed a small up-and-coming arcade similar to ours, everything went wrong. Everything. I wrote my view in honest fashion, and as a result, with my scathing pen, the place was sold and closed down within a month. Sold to a notable figure in this industry. Wait, you don't mean... Yes, Dekonami. Such is the fate of an arcade that dares to stand up to him. Your prior business, the Funplex, only escaped being devoured by being far too small to be worthwhile. Sadly, your enthusiasm may put it in his crosshairs. And if you, not, if you cannot tidy up your reputation after today's affairs, the FFG2 flower will be next. Again, again, torn down by Deco Nami. This time he didn't even have to lift a finger. By pure coincidence, the ghost monsters wrecked everything before he could exact my revenge. All I had to do was swoop in, buy out what's left of our dream. However, I've come to a decision. Given I was first-hand witness to your troubles, which is clearly not your fault, and given your willingness to even put your own life on the line for your arcade, I'm going to tell my editor I need more time, and that I want to return in one week to get more accurate and mature overview of your operation. One week. That's the best I can offer you. This is a difficult hole to climb out of, Miss Sheffy. Even aside from your er from earlier trouble, having a gang fight and a shooting transpire in an arcade, well, the press will feed on this. Even if I was the only one present and accounted for, they'll dig and they'll speculate and they'll chew on your bones. If your arcade survives that initial onslaught, I hope to write a proper review which can lay those concerns to rest. But I'll offer you no more second chances, no more reasonable doubt. Best foot forward when I return, or my readers will know the truth. Understood? Understood. Then I'll leave you to your recuperation. The court nods, she turns and leaves the room, leaving me with my thoughts. One week. I've got exactly one week to completely rebuild our reputation. And clear the good name of FFG at 2F. Otherwise, it's game over for all of us. Hey guys, sorry about the abrupt ending. It's just that I live streamed this and I'm trying to do 30 minute segment videos just so I can put this on the YouTube page and you guys can get a full playthrough of the game. I'm trying not to cut out anything, so sorry if I miss something. I will probably go back or something like that. But.
yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. Again, I want to say thank you to Arcade Spirits for letting me play their game early. And if you guys want your own copy, then make sure you go ahead and go buy it because it's now available for the Xbox One, PS4, and now the Nintendo Switch. Go buy it. I don't know what you're waiting for. But I hope you guys enjoy, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode, which will come out tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I just want to say that this is your Cat the Chippy speaking, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bye.